obviously the pandemic has been a, a huge challenge uh, in every in every field of of medicine and uh, in MS we felt it uh, in particular because as I've said so many of our treatments affect or weaken the immune system and that may put patients at higher risk of COVID complications if they were to if they were to catch it. Treating multiple sclerosis without suppressing the immune system. That's what a group of clinical researchers are doing at the Montreal Neurological Institute. And so far it's looking promising. What's unique about them is that uh, they can they work on the immune system in a bit of a different way compared to other MS treatments and are hopefully a, a, they seem to be a bit more targeted and might cause less weakening of the immune system compared to some some other treatments. For the Quebec province, we think it's around like 18 to 20,000 people um, who would have, you know, a, an MS diagnosis currently. Um, but the numbers that we have, you know, as of how many people get a diagnosis a year, it's like three Canadians a day. In a worldwide pandemic with a highly contagious virus going around, for some having to undergo treatment that weakens the very thing that helps them fight off infections is frightening. They were afraid, like, am I going to catch this virus? Um, what's it going to do to me if I like if I get it? Um, am I going to get sick? Like, is it going to create um, a relapse for me? Like all this unknown. According to the MS Society, having MS does not increase your chances of COVID-19 complications. But some medications can reduce the efficiency of your immune system, which the Montreal Neurological Institute is out to change. MS is uh, what we call an autoimmune disease that affects the, the nervous system, meaning the brain and, and spinal cord. And when we say autoimmune disease, that means uh, the, that the body's own immune system attacks the parts of the, the brain and, and spinal cords or attacks it, itself in, in a way. And the way we treat that is often by trying to weaken or, or suppress the immune system. And that we have some very effective treatments to help control the disease, but the, the side effects of that is that patients may be at increased risk of, of infections, for example, because the immune system, of course, helps us fight infections. New treatment could help change that, but how does it work exactly? Studies are looking at in these particular molecules, which are called BTK inhibitors, the goal is to try to uh, affect the immune system, mo modify it a bit in the sense that um, the immune cells become less active, uh, become less badly behaved without, uh, without necessarily killing them off or so uh, in the way that some other treatments do. So it's, uh, it's a bit unique in that way. In Montreal, Brittany Enriquez, City News.